Hello, I'm Vince Patelka. I've been a potter most of my life. I still love working with clay. Um, you can find more information about my work and my studio uh, at my website, vincepatelka.com. Feel free to contact me if you'd like to visit the studio or if you have questions about my work. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the studio now. I hope you enjoy it. My studio is not advertised as handicap accessible but a person would be able to back their vehicle right up into this space outside the studio, and it would be relatively level all the way into the studio with just a little gravel and a sill to cross at the doorway. Right now my studio is set up for work. And most of the finished work on hand is currently packed onto these shelves. Pitchers and vases, teapots, covered boxes, more teapots, cruets, coffee mugs, and beer steins. And I have a whole lot of other stuff that's waiting to be fired. Plates, bowls, bottles, uh, baking dishes, flasks, salt pots assorted other items. Many years ago in California, I was a professional potter on the potter's wheel for 10 years, but now almost all of my work is hand-built. And for that, it requires a lot of table space. And as you can see, that's really the focus in the studio as it's set up now. I do still have a potter's wheel and I enjoy throwing, but far more important for the work that I do now is the slab roller, which rolls out uniform slabs of clay. If you check out my other video about making a slab teapot, you can see it in operation and you'll understand how important it is. This is where I do almost all of my work, looking out into the forest. It's a wonderful place to work. And in back here, I have my movable spray booth on wheels which plugs into the back door of the studio so it exhausts to the outside and I have a large stock of wares waiting for bisque firing and glaze firing. I have an electric kiln for bisque firing but this is my main kiln. It's a 30 cubic foot cross draft soda kiln propane fired. It's a very tried and true design that's always served me well. I built a whole series of these kilns at the Appalachian Center for Craft for salt firing and soda firing, and they worked out extremely well. This kiln has three Venturi burners operating on high pressure propane. I've been fascinated by tools, machinery, and fine craftsmanship ever since I was a small child, and having a good workshop is very important to me. This workshop is directly adjacent to my studio and it plays a very important part in my studio practice. I build a lot of my own tools and fixtures. I've built a lot of ceramic equipment. I build my own kilns. So just this brief view of my studio and some of my accumulated stuff, I hope will give you an enhanced appreciation of how this has impacted my work as a studio artist. I've enjoyed showing you my studio. To finish up, I'll show you what it looked like during the Chatham Artist Guild Studio Tour last year.